I give the floor to International Service for Human Rights. Thank you, Madam Vice President. This statement was prepared in consultation with the International Platform Against Impunity. Guatemala is facing a moment of grave crisis in the struggle to promote the rule of law and accountability following decades of conflict. The International Commission Against Impunity, created through an agreement between OCHR and Guatemala, has successfully held individuals in the highest positions of government to account. It has provided means to revitalize and strengthen the national judicial system. Government efforts to stop its work have been rejected by the Constitutional Court, but its future in the context remains uncertain. This occurs in a context in which key achievements in strengthening the rule of law are threatened. The National Reconciliation Law Amendment being discussed today, if passed, will lead to impunity for gravely, grave internationally recognized crimes, including genocide and torture. Convictions could be overturned and the important drive against impunity will be reversed. It's more. NGOs also face potential restrictions if amendments to the law of NGOs pass. As clear from the concerns expressed by the High Commissioner of Special Procedures and Civil Society in the last week alone, Guatemala stands at a crossroads. Those calling for key post-conflict human rights achievements to be respected and built upon are facing likelihood of greater <coughs> threats. States must make public th their support of the work of the Commission and to urge Guatemala to re-engage with the process of accountability the Commission promotes. We urge the, the amendments that seek to undermine laws that have provided for the individuals to be held to account for the gravest of crimes are rejected. We also call on Guatemala to ensure that human rights defenders' rights are upheld, including during the upcoming period of presidential elections in June. Thank you. Thank you.